Hello all, this is John from EastCoastArmory.com and I'm here today with an end of project video for this 1-6 scale Dragon M4A3 Sherman tank. Since the last video update, the last of the model's components have been added and the vehicle is now complete. We'll be going over these final details in this video. First, a quick walk around the model. The most noticeable update since the last video update was the addition of the tank's tracks. The tracks that you see on the tank are the East Coast Armory three bar cleat style tracks for the VVSS Sherman. Now the tracks are different from the original Dragon Kit. The original Dragon Kit supplies you with the rubber chevron style track links. The kit tracks are adequately done and can be used out of the box with a couple modifications made to them. However, the client specified to have the kit tracks replaced with the ECA three bar cleats. Now, because of the addition of the three bar cleat track, the sprocket, as I mentioned earlier, was replaced with that of the Panzerwerk sprocket. If anyone's interested in obtaining the three bar cleat track from eastcoastarmory.com, you will also need to change the sprocket with that of the Panzerwerk one, as the Dragon kit sprocket will not have the correct timing for the eastcoastarmory.com track. The tracks are workable, and the tank will roll if pushed. However, the track itself are only designed for static display use and are not recommended for radio control models. Moving up from the tracks takes us to the rear area of the tank, starting with the rear track racks. The spare track racks have spare track links fitted in each of the racks. The track links that you see here are the exact same castings which were used for the main tracks that are on the tank's suspension. The racks, like I mentioned before, are fully functional. By removing these two wing nuts, the two straps will hinge downward, allowing you to add or remove a track link. Along with the spare track links that were added to the rack, the folding storage rack gun cleaning staves have been added. The cleaning staves that you see here, it's a kit off of the eastcoastarmory.com product line. The set contains both components made out of wood and metal to it for the gun cleaning rods themselves. The rods are able to telescope and thread together in order to depict the diorama of the crew cleaning the main gun. They are mounted in the rack as they would on the real vehicle and for this location here actually hinges downward which is how the pieces get strapped onto the rack. That's facilitated by the small wing nut here. The wing nut is temporarily glued on with white glue in order just to keep everything in its place. If the customer were to make a diorama scene of the crew cleaning the gun, the wing nut can simply be removed and the gun cleaning rods can then be taken off of the rack. The white glue trick was used for all of the wing nuts that you see on the rear portion of the tank. Not only for the gun cleaning saves, but also for the the rack straps themselves. Like I mentioned in all my other videos, on the M4A3, there are two small hinged wing nuts on the rear hull, as well as two other wing nuts mounted to the rack itself. The purpose of these wing nuts is to strap the 
rack to the rear of the hull to keep it from bouncing around and also as for the two wing nuts on the mounted on the rack to keep it mounted or secured in the closed position when not in use moving up from the rack takes us to the tank's rear deck tools all the tools that you see on the vehicle are the set listed on eastcoastarmory.com they are comprised out of resin and wood components all of the components that you see here have been painted, weathered, and then mounted to the vehicle in their appropriate locations. While we're on the engine deck, in addition to the tools, the interior portion of the ductwork on the engine grill hatches have been painted and weathered as well. Also, if we notice for the tools, they are all strapped to the model via leather belts. Unlike German tanks, which feature tool posts that are made out of hinged metal straps, on American tanks, they are simply attached to the vehicle with straps that we have here. I have seen both leather and canvas webbing used for this application. On the model here, all these straps are scratch built out of metal buckles and, leather, and real leather strap. Moving on to the turret, some other small details have been added since the last video update. Namely that of the cover caps for both the pivotal searchlight as well as the smoke mortar. Both of these locations feature rubberized caps which prevent any moisture from entering into the vehicle when the two components are not in use. Both components that you see here are scratch built. This component here is included with the EastCoastArmory.com pivotal searchlight kit. The last feature and probably one of the most important additions that was added to the model since the last video was that of the tank's M2 HB heavy machine gun. Now, unlike my other builds in which the version of the M2 that I use is the plastic kit from Dragon, the client for this model requested to have the M2 kit from Armor Packs. The Armor Packs M2HB kit is an unassembled white metal kit that assembles into the 50 caliber machine gun that you see here. In addition to the 50 caliber itself, I also use the tried and true Armor Packs M23 cradle mount kit. Just like the machine gun itself, the cradle kit is also comprised out of white metal components. And just like with the M2, one assembled is a very nice addition and strongly recommended for use on top of US World War II AFV. Both the machine gun and the M23 cradle assemble nicely and like I mentioned before are strongly recommended. For the M2 it's built mostly out of the box but the only addition that I made was the addition of drilling out some of the hinge components on the top feet cover as well as the peep sight in order to make these pieces fully functional. The kit is fully functional and fully detailed with its interior components. All the chain work that you see here was added by myself and is a typical feature that I do on all of my 1-6 scale builds. I'm going to put the gun in travel lock mode. It simply goes into the travel lock on the copula. Now on the real M2HB, this small little pin here would be inserted into the M23 cradle, thus locking the gun in place. In addition to the 50 caliber itself, the Armor Packs kit also includes a very nicely casted resin 50 caliber World War II period ammo box. The ammo box fits into the Armor Packs M23 cradle perfectly without any mods needed to make to either the cradle or the ammo box itself. Like I mentioned, both kits are strongly recommended. And that concludes this project update video for this 1-6 scale Dragon M4A3 Sherman tank. If you like this video, stop by and like us on Facebook. And don't forget to check out eastcoastarmory.com for more 1-6 scale tank builds, as well as other 1-6 scale detail components. Thank you.